Testing my chat. Good, good. All right. Just getting everything set up where I want it. There we go. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Mortality Monday. We're playing Torrens Passage, and we're almost done with it. We're actually in the last world here uh, called Tenebris, which is this uh, lovely looking barren, uh, barren rock in the middle of the planet. Or in the middle of the nested planets. This is such a cool opening screen. <laughs> you so rarely ever get to really like appreciate the fact that this this world is is a bunch of planets nested inside one another. How does that even work? I don't know, but it's cool. So, we're in Tenebris. Right. Google button, Torrent button. And we're in this weird like backstage area, I guess. Uh, where some kind of a performance is about to go on in this amphitheater. Not much is explained about who exactly we're performing for. I guess it's, you know, for the general populace of Tenebris or wherever we are on Tenebris. Um, so we've been just kind of like making the loop around this backstage area, collecting things and talking to people. There's the stage manager walking back and forth, being very important. Oh, the carpenter's gone. Well, in that case, I could steal a saw. Yoink. I'm gonna need that. Pointy. Um, one second. Okay. Oops. Do that a lot. Losing my window. Okay. These ropes look like they should do something, but they don't. Torinorin's Passagery. <laughs> Mr. Jail, Makafort. Alright, here's Bag's Bunny, who has said that he wants a he wants a new job, and we, we floated the idea of him being a uh, magician's assistant, because we have a magician over there. We have these acrobats. There's Zippy. And then there's the Archivest, who was kind enough to give us this uh, crystal shard with a recording of Licentia's voice on it. Licentia, if you recall, is the evil sorceress we are trying to find who kidnapped my parents for reasons unknown. But there may be more to that than just being evil. You wanna try that card trick again? No, I've had it with that trick. I'm just going to stand here until I come up with something spectacular. Or something great. Well, at least something not bad. Say, uh, I don't think- B. Say, me too! Think- I don't know about that, but I just talked to Zippy, the magician. He's in dire need of a new magic trick. I just wondered if you had any experience in the magic side of the business. You kidding? Wink with a magician? <laughs> you know, you know, you know, you know, they keep you in cages, boxes, paper flower bouquets, stuff like that. <laughs> I'm holding out for a nice place. Something plush, clean inside, you know, first class. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, so he wants something plush, clean inside, first class. Hey, Snow Crane. You want to pay for this bunny's therapy? I'm sure he would appreciate it. He clearly needs it. 
Well, perhaps if you maybe had a look at the uh, the hat that you would be living in. Hey, bags, take a look at this. Say, nice twigs. Yeah, and look inside. Whoa, whoa, is that real silk? I think so. It feels real to me. Uh, uh, you mind if I try it on? No, not at all. It's you. It's very you. <laughs> oh, 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 look, look. I, I, it's got a, a secret compartment, too. <laughs> it seems complete. Room enough for a pool. <laughs> Practice my breaststroke. I'll take it. I'll take it. Now, wait a minute. We don't know if Zippy the Magnificent will accept you or not. Accept me? Are you kidding? He's been wanting me to join him for years! But you should have seen the dump he offered me! He never had digs like these! Oh yeah, he'll take me all right. He'd be a fool not to. See, I, I, I know the biz. Just wait, huh? Ooh, wait till I tell the missus. <laughs> and his 15 sisters. <laughs> and now we have Bags Bunny in a top hat. Isn't that nice? Hey Zippy, I got a new friend for you. You'll never guess what I got for you, Zippy. You're right. Put it down so I can feel it. It's a real top hat with a rabbit inside. You know, like in a real magic trick. Let me see. Yes, but who's this? It's me, Zippy! Bags! Bags Bunny! You remember me, don't you? Yes. I thought you said you'd never work for me. Well, that was before you offered me this fine silk line top hat to live in. Man, what a hat like this! Even you should be able to do magic! Hey, are you going to start this relationship off on a sour note? Or step inside and I'll do the tricks. Silly rabbit. Tricks are for magicians. <laughs> Grab your wand and let's practice. Uh, that is a problem. I seem to have lost my magic wand. Oh, no problem. <laughs> Ask this touring guy here to find it. What did it look like? Oops. Sorry. Magic wand, huh? Now are you ready to try your new trick, Zippy? What do you think, Bags? Can you do it without a magic wand? I can. Can you? No, eh, probably not. I could really use a magic wand, Torin. <laughs> Where am I going to find a magic wand around here? I don't know. Perhaps you could make one. Now, what do you I can. Eh, Where? I All right. Well, we've been around the whole area and we did not find any magic wands. But he's right, perhaps we could make one. And, uh. You may think, looking at this cane, hmm. Maybe I could make a magic wand out of this thing. With a saw. Like so. There we go. Just saw off the uh, the curved end of the of the, uh, of the cane, and we have an instant magic wand. It's that white bit on the end. That's the that's that's the that's the the trick, because apparently all magic wands have that white bit on the end. How does this game compare to King's Quest Seven? Um, I don't know. I. They're probably about equal. I mean, they both have good parts and they have they have flaws. Neither of them are perfect. They're both quite charming in their own ways. Um, I don't know. I guess it depends on what you're looking for in a game. <laughs> I guess uh, King's Quest Seven has more of like a pedigree, so there's kind of like more, more of like a uh, like a like a history behind it. Whereas Torin's Passage is like an entirely new IP. 
Um, and I guess it's up to you whether you, whether either one of those options is more attractive or not. <laughs> but yeah, they both they both have have potential. Um, this game really, I think, really deserved more than it got. Um, there was a lot that that went into it. Like the the creators of this game really like had had like had some cool ideas um, that unfortunately did not pan out or or were cut or whatever. But uh, yeah, there there are, there's there's the heart of a good game in this one. <laughs> Here you go, Zippy. I found your wand. I found a wand. Oh, thank you, Torin. Say, this isn't my wand. What are you trying to pull here? Uh, nothing. I, I thought you needed a wand. I do. But remember, I'm blind, not stupid. Well, what's the difference? Wand, schmob. Are you a magician or aren't you? You're right. Thank you, Torin. This will do just fine. So what are you waiting for? Pull a fancy colored silk over me and let's get rolling! Uh, well now, that's another problem. What now? <sighs> I uh, don't have a silk. A magician without a silk kerchief? Torin! <laughs> yes, Torin. <laughs> Mom! <laughs> um... I was just gonna say. Oh yeah, I mean he's like he. I love that he, even he himself just tells me to make a magic wand, and then he complains that it isn't his. Like you, what do you want from me? So are you ready to try your new trick, Zippy? I can't. You see, I've got oh. no silk kerchief, right, bags? Yeah, I ain't waking without a cover. Oh come on, so picky. All right, that'll be a little more more uh, uh, difficult to acquire, but we do have everything we need to get it. So, this one requires a little bit of lateral thinking. So, what if there was a Leisure Suit Larry cameo in this game? Uh, what if, indeed, what if I stood over here? <laughs> oh, that's not the Leisure Suit Larry theme. <laughs> that's different. <laughs> oh, I forgot that was in this game. <laughs> but uh one of the one of the the songs that can play if you stand in front of this curtain is apparently the Leisure Suit Larry theme. What is this? What was that? I have no idea what that was. Oh, that's Gorilla Tower again. Let me uh, let me go. Let me make, make another loop around. Maybe it'll um, go back to Leisure Suit Larry. Which I didn't even know was the was the Leisure Suit Larry theme until someone um, identified it for me last week because I've actually never played the Leisure Suit Larry games. I just noticed these are rabbit skulls. <laughs> Yarg. <laughs> I think the archer kills kills Bags' own. Oh, there it is. Yeah, apparently this is the Leisure Suit Larry theme. Oh, and I guess they're playing some kind of like gong show thing. That's what I was thinking. I, I thought it, yeah, Freddy Farkas was my first uh, guess. But that's another one I've never played, and I really, I really should. All right. Anyway, um, so to get this uh, colored silk for Zippy, you got to think back to um, uh, to remember that pl the 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 plant lady, the, the flower, 
who said that these guys, the chameleon silkworms, will produce silk of any color if you place them on a color. And then that is what this thing is for. If you'll notice. Oops. This thing, this magic poster, actually has a picture of a magician waving a colored silk in the air. So. I think this is the only area in the game where you actually have to combine items in your inventory? I could be forgetting something from previously in the game, but um, I think this is the only area where you do that. But there we go. Boom. Silk. Silk scarf. Freshly squeezed out of silkworm butts. Very nice. Here you go. I made this beautiful silk as a gift for you, Zippy. <laughs> I made it. <laughs> Why, thank you. It feels lovely. So smooth. I just don't know what I'll do with it. Perhaps stuff it in my breast pocket. I don't know. I was thinking you might use it to cover the rabbit inside your top hat. That's good, too. So, what are we waiting for? Show us a trick. Here, yeah, Zippy. It's showtime. Pull that fancy silk over me. All right, I will. Thanks to you, Torin. You know, you've been so nice to me. Would you like this book of magic spells? It should get you past any sorcerers you find in these parts. Hell yeah. Besides, I don't read that much anymore. Oh, come on. Hey, Zippy, and good luck with your act. There's got to be a... Uh... Ah, it's Dreep. There's got to be a, uh, a braille, a book of spells in braille somewhere. In fact, wasn't there, a, wasn't there an item like that in one of the Dark Souls games? There was like some blind character who asked you to get like a book, a braille, a book of braille for her. Or was it a prayer book or something? Like a, I don't remember. I've only ever played uh, a little bit of Dark Souls. Three and one. I think I think I'm thinking of Dark Souls three. I think this is the, the character I'm thinking of. Anyway, sweet magic book. Uh, no hat, no scarf, no wand. Hmm. All right. I need that rosin. I think if I just walk around, if I do a loop, I think eventually they'll leave. <laughs> oh, that song. <laughs> There we go. They magically disappeared. And now I can take their stuff. Mm. <laughs> uh, this bow could use something to keep it from slipping. So there have been uh, there's been talk of a of a special sawist, which apparently people think is me. Um, uh, musical saw players are a thing that does actually exist, and that's why I have this bow and this saw. I mean, the saw also was for cutting the um, cane in half. There, if I use that, if I rosin up that bow. <coughs> Mr. Torin, one minute, Mr. Torin. Mr. Torin, on stage in one minute, Mr. Torin. Okay, time for me to go on stage. And there's that musical saw. That I can now play, apparently. Time for my big act. I got I got stage fright. I'm so nervous. Butterflies in my stomach. Mr. Torin, on stage. 
stage, Mr. Torin. Now, Mr. Torin. All right, all right. God. Ceremonial executing Boogaloo with saw. <laughs> there appears to be nobody out there. But uh, all right. So I hope you guys have your earplugs ready because this is going to be horrific. I'll tell you that right now. You were warned. And now, a medley of my favorite songs from the lands above. <laughs> Where the peat moss croons in the light of three full moons, and those <clears throat> crystal mountains summon my heart home. Yes, the lands above are the place I'll always love. No matter through how many worlds I roam. <clears throat> that's it, that's it. Now come with me. But officer, why, you have tears in your eyes. Are you from the lands above too? No, I'm a musician. Now come with me. You're under arrest. What mm. for? Impersonating a singer. <laughs> No! Torrin, the lands above, since you violated the probationary period I granted you, I have no choice but to sentence you to immediate ostracization from the world of Tenebrous. Into the Null Void with him! Not the Null Void! <laughs> exactly where I want to go. There we are, boy. Now you stand over there. Ow! <laughs> hey! Good riddance, plant crusher! Alright! I just float in midair like this? Oh, I get it. In the very center of the planet, gravity pulls equally from all directions. But how can I move? There's nothing to grab onto. Well, yep, we are now, we, we now know what is beneath Tenebris, and it is, uh, nothing. This is where all the crystals go, and it's just nowhere. Also, uh, you may know, you may, you may have heard a, a, the sound of something breaking when he threw me against the wall. Hey, Omega number. And that was because he broke my odd crest. Which is extremely rude. I need that. But actually, it's a good thing that he broke it, because it'll help me solve a puzzle later. Yep, this is right near the end. We can uh, kind of look around. It's very pretty here in the Null Void. Full of crystals and stuff. Hey, look at that! It's a door. to get there. So this is very strange and kind of annoying. But the way we get here is by using these bagpipes. Oh, oh, right, I gotta hold it down, that's right. Oh. Bonk! <laughs> Oops, wrong way. Yeah, I mean, this is, this is not a good, good use of bagpipes. <laughs> our way back there. We <laughs> Oops, wait. I'm gonna just save my game here. Yeah. 
Yes, yes he was, Walter World Games. Also hello, and hello Riven Z. And belatedly, hello everyone else I did not say hello to. Uh, that's Eden Waith and Ober Solo. <laughs> yes, so we had Musical Saw and now he's uh, graduated from Musical Saw playing into uh, Bagpipe playing. Well, this looks like a nice friendly door. Let's go ahead and uh, see if anyone's home. Dream. Crimes against music. <laughs> well, there are plenty of those. <laughs> what a shame to come all this way and not be able to get inside. Oh, I got inside. I just didn't get inside the house. <laughs> I got inside Dreep. <laughs> Dreep just like, oh, <laughs> just stuffed me in his mouth. <laughs> Triangular penny whistle. God, we can only hope. Torrens forage, Vorin's passage. <laughs> All right, so, uh, okay. Oh, okay. I think I, I forgot to do something, but um, that's okay. We can, we can, we can do it in a minute. So what you have to do here is uh, play Ding Dong Ditch. Dream. Bye. All right. Uh. Oh right. Okay. Now you gotta. Right. Go do this. That's what's down there somewhere. Okay. So that should be fine. Um, okay. So the Shattered Odd Chris. Oops. Punch my microphone. Still has a use. You decrepit old creep. You yearn to come here. Not well. Here, decrepit old creep. You yearn to come here. Not well. Here. So, first, let's uh, let's try to put it back the way it was. And we can put each one. Here. So the uh, here. the. The full, the full quote was, you're not welcome here, you decrepit old creep. So you're, I think... Decrepit old... Creep. You... You're... N there we go. You're n come here. You're not welcome. You're not welcome here. All right. You're not. <laughs> cool. Yeah, that'll be that'll be next. You're not welcome here. You're not welcome here. What's this one? You're not welcome here, you. You're not welcome here, you di- Okay. You're not welcome here, you decrepit old creep. Alright, so that's the original uh, sound clip. But, um, we don't actually want the whole thing. Uh, I think... I think this is a case similar to uh, King's Quest VI's um, genie lamp puzzle. This is a case where you have to where you have to use knowledge that you don't actually have in character. Because I don't think Torin knows that Licentia's uh, hench creature is named Dreep. But we need to make it seem like she's calling Dreep. With, with the sound uh, crystal. Yeah, exactly. It is It is very much like the tape splicing in Gabriel Knight 2. Although, that was a bit more complicated, because you had a lot more to choose from. 
so let's see. Uh, we want D and then reap your ot well come here. I think looks like it's those two. Yeah, I think those are th those are the ones we want. And of course I've done that out of order, but it's fine. That should do it. Reap, come here. Reap, come here. One uh, cool feature of this is that you can you can have her say dreep come here or you can have her say come here dreep and either either one will work the thing that bugs me about this though is that is that the d it's not said it, it's not spoken like you would actually say say the, the sound d if you were pronouncing dreep's name it's not dreep it's dreep there's some there's some uh, sound um, alteration there, and there's a word for it, and I do not remember what it is. So that's, that just bugs me, <laughs> because I'm a detail-oriented weirdo, but it gets the job done, so whatever. Come here. Okay, so we set that to play. Come here. Just kind of huck it into the void. Come here. Big F U puzzle. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I feel like Gabriel Knight Two had a worse puzzle than the tape slice splicing, but I can't think of what it is at the moment. Oops. Dreep, come here. Dreep, Sandy? Uh, I don't know. I'm not, I'll have to look that up. Dreep, come here. Dreep, ah! Come no, here. wrong way. Dreep, come here. Let me ring that doorbell over and over again. Dreep, Dreep come here. Dreep, come here. Dreep, come here. Come here. I remember you had to like, you had to go like to the bottom of the doorway, I think. The, the door step. I don't remember how to get there. Come here. Come here. Come here. It might just be. Hang on. Oh, here we go. It's just, it's, it's down there. I just gotta click on the right area. Whoop. Come here. Come here. Okay. Ring doorbell. Then go underneath it. Here. A little bit of pixel on D, but not too bad. Bye, Dreep. What the? Okay. Oh, there's the right. Right here. Back here. All those, uh, I love that, um, Sailor Saturn Easter egg. And then, I forget who the other character was, they were, they were like Darth Vader and Yoda and, um, I think some, one of the, a couple of the devs. Yeah, it's, uh, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta know where to look, unfortunately, and I can't go back in there. 
what to do in life, Sensha. I'm just gonna hang out in your house for a while. Jesus. <laughs> Congratulations, you did it. That's nice to see some else has an aldo sense of humor. That's why you get to hear this, my very own personal Easter egg, instead of the boring plain old death message you see before you there on the screen. Anybody who comes all the way through this game asking everybody you meet about this evil sorceress named Licentia and then finally finds her and then tricks Dreep into following a recording of her voice and then doesn't use the book of magic on her but instead plays the bagpipes deserves much more than just another boring old death message. So here's my personal thank you for playing the game and now enjoy the ending. But whatever you do, don't tell anybody how you got this message. Instead, just taunt them with, why, I got a personal message from Al Lowe at the end. <laughs> Didn't you? I've actually never seen that before. <laughs> oh, God, that's great. <laughs> All right, anyway, that was hilarious. Sorry, Torin, you are no what? Prince Alexander. You dare enter my home and attempt your little magic spells on me. Stomp, stomp, stomp. <laughs> oh, no. I guess that was Allo, yeah. I didn't know that. <laughs> So she came foolish boy i have more power in my little finger than you'll ever possess oh slap <gasps> the collar torin of course who else could remove the collar also torin has a secret tattoo apparently My name. I was your nanny. Nanny? I saved your life the night your parents were murdered. And suddenly she's drawn her much more. Uh, no! How could you? I thought you had them in a magic style. spell. No, Torin. The Farmans are safe. But they're not your real parents. Your real parents were the king and queen of the lands above. What? Then I'm... That's right. You're the next king. No, that's wrong. I'm the next king. Ow. You dick. You should have died in your cradle that night, little nephew. After searching for you all these years, you won't escape me now. I killed your parents. And now... Kill you. Fuck. One step closer, boy, and I'll finish her. Um, so hang on, let me. Oh, <laughs> right, I forgot about that. Woo, pause. <laughs> no, I wanted to. Um, so what just happened uh, was... So Licentia came stomping toward me, but uh, apparently 
that was considered an act of her attempting to to leave the the lands below and it resulted in the collar tightening and and choking her and she passed out uh, and so I went towards her and uh, apparently me touching the collar was enough to 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 um, to release it because I'm the prince Prince Torin of the lands above or wherever the hell this this place is um, yeah, because I remembered how to do it. Uh, although I, di I didn't quite remember how to do the uh, uh, the bagpipe uh, navigation, I had to I had to like remember that you had to hold the button down, which is like the only time you ever had to do that in the game. Um, and then I I didn't remember exactly how to get underneath the uh, the doorstep, but uh, I remembered <laughs> the worst part of the game. I still say the worst part of the game is the bitter nuts. I hate them so much. All right. Anyway. Uh, eh. No, don't. We. <laughs> How long can you uh, keep your balance, Torin? Come on. <laughs> I can swear I if I I can swear I could fall in there. Really? I thought I could fall in. Hmm. All right. Uh, right. So fine. Licentia! Licentia, are you okay? That was close. I thought he had you there for a second. Hey, Licentia! Bye, Peckand. Who was apparently my uncle? Lava. That's not lava. That's Dreep's supper dish. Ah, that's why you can't fall in and What about die. my parents and Boogle? Of course. Torin, I think it's time for all of us to go back home. To the lands above. And you can just go there now, whenever you want. Because you're a badass sorceress. And you don't have the, uh... Where's my tools? Town, remember? Son, who's this lady? And is she gonna stay for dinner? Mom, Dad, oh, it's great to be home again. Oh. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Woo! And that's it. end. <laughs> I guess not. Uh, and we don't, we never see Lena again. Just no, no tying up of any of the other loose ends. I mean, I guess the, uh, the implication is that he does eventually, but I don't know. This game was originally designed to be a part of a series. There was supposed to be like more there were supposed to be more games in this series, but um, that that never happened. So maybe he would have become king later. I don't know. Maybe there would have been more um, uh, more adventures before before King Torin. Bad bagpipes. The internet singer. Oh, nice. <laughs> Mark Sigurd was one of the singers. Uh, I did play the bagpipes for Lic Licentia, and I actually, I did, I don't think, I think I remember reading about that Easter egg somewhere long ago, but I never, that was not in my mind when I, when I did it. Cause I'd never actually seen that Easter egg before. <laughs> it was great. Uh, yes, I did play all three of the Zero Escape, um, games on stream. 
Yeah, yeah, I agree. I would have loved to see more Loom games, but yeah, it, it did feel like a like an actual ending. I mean, this does too, or it did to me at the time, but now that you mention it, like, yeah, there's kind of a lot that is left unresolved. There's the unnecessarily romantic Lena theme. <laughs> Yeah, especially because Loom's manual, like, made explicit mention of, like, a ton of other drafts that you never got to use in the game. Um, so, like, there were de they definitely felt- it felt like there was much more world out there. Like, all the background materials for Loom really made- made, like, a complete or a bigger world than you got to explore in the game. And I would have loved to actually, uh, see more of that. But yeah, this this game had had some good. There, there's some really good ideas behind this game, as I said earlier, um, and not all of them panned out. But yeah, no, it was nice. It was good playing this game again. Um, as I mentioned earlier, uh, I was kind of I was reluctant to play to replay this game because I was kind of thinking, oh, I'm gonna hate it, like knowing that. Um, knowing what I, like, in my new adult, you know, mindset, um, I was sure that I was gonna hate, you know, like, the things that I hated as a kid even more, and, like, just, I would find so many things to hate about this game, but I didn't really. I actually enjoyed revisiting it, um, and had some new appreciation for things that I didn't quite appreciate as a kid, and it wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be, so I'm happy that I played this game again. Um, yeah, no, it's, it's, it's definitely not a perfect game. I could have played Deponia. I, yeah, I mean, I, I didn't hate Deponia, but yeah, there's a lot of stuff to complain about in Deponia. Um, but we won't go into that. Um, yeah, so, yeah, this was fun. I'm glad I, I'm glad I got around to playing this. <laughs> and that's fair. No, I've, I've played the first Deponia. I've not played any of the other ones. I do have the rest, but um, I I will get around to them eventually, I'm sure. But, eh, you know. Yes, there are worse adventure games out there, like, say, Police Quest 4 <laughs> and Kyrandia 3. <laughs> All right, so that was fun. Uh, I'm going to cut stream for just a moment, and we're going to start the next game, which is going to be Silent Age. The, the Silent Age. Uh, and I have that all set up, uh, but I just want to cut stream just so that it's easier to export to YouTube. So I will be right back, and don't go anywhere. One moment. <laughs> 